It's Delta here from DeltiasGaming.com, and this is part 6, Tamriel A to Z, and I want to do a gameplay session and show you how I level up, so maybe it can help you get some insight and maybe some fast ways or what maybe you haven't done before while leveling up, or if you're new to the game, kind of see the leveling process take fold. So let's log in. I'm in Canarthi's Roost. That's all the Mary Dominion Faction starter zone. This area is specifically like a level 1 to 5 area. I'm going to put some jams on here. And let's get started. So when I level, uh, I logged off after my last video, and I want to make sure I'm hitting all the quests. Now I'm going to skip all the dialogue for the quest. That way I don't ruin it for you, and that way you can enjoy the story yourself. Plus, it's a lot faster. Razim Dar, he's one of the cooler play guys in the game. Come on, Raz. Raz is cool. Okay, so I think I have a skill point. No, I do not. Dang it. Uh, I do see a sky shard up in there. Actually, I know the sky shard's up in there. So let's go grab that little scud. Dumber Dragon Knight, super powerful. I'm going to wreck everyone's face. Yeah. Sabatons, I don't have anything to wear. Might as well take this crap. Iron's better than nothing. Oh, oh, jeez. That's a noob move. What's all this stuff? Got some more gear? Helm, I have a helm. Jerkin, I have a chest. What am I missing? Belt and shoulders. Belt and shoulders, where are you at? Belt and shoulders. None, all right. That looks like I'll have a hodgepodge outfit here. No shoulders, no shoulders, no shoulders, no belt. I hate you. What are you doing hanging up here, mister? Mr. Sentry. Now I get a skill point. Yeah, baby. Let's get off this crappy soul trap ability. Ooh, Searing. Searing Strike sounds cute. What else could I get on here? Searing Strike's really good. Oh, gotta have Talons, period. But, oh, I'll unlock the standard first. Oh, it's so tough. Or Sword and Shield Puncture. Well, we're going to go Sword and Shield Puncture. No, no, we can't. We can't. Yeah, we can't. It's hard picking the first ability because I want to level them up all so fast. So giving two Sword and Shield will give me some good progress while I level. Alright, so we got our skills set up. It's good. Still no self-heal. It's going to be rough. Commander Canarthen. You're crazy. What do you need exactly? I don't know, but I'm going to go do it. Quest markers are good. Let's go. I'm so slow. Dodge roll. Let's, we call that a pro roll. Ethiel. Ethiel. You want to speak privately? That's kind of weird, dude. All right, Roz. Don't try to seduce me or do some weird, creepy stuff. What do you want? Oh god, look, he's like standing all seductive too. Weird. I'm listening. Where you want me to go, you freak? You little cat freak. Alright, so let's go get a sky shot. Get my hand Danny horse. Look at that. Yeah, what you what you guys know about a new horse? And I wrote these roofs. Bring back some memories. I remember leveling here the first time. I had no idea what I was doing. No, I have somewhat of an idea. So you can interact and start picking mats up. I love picking up mats. It's fun. Plus you get some money and you can craft some armor starting out. So make sure you're picking up mats as we go. You'll start to recognize what they are and their texture and stuff. I just have an eye for it. So if you see like a plant or something, go around and pick it up. Most likely it's interactable. And so I want to come up here. There's also this big eye thing that's called an area of interest. It just is like a, 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 I don't know, a way to explore something. And it gives you a decent amount of experience. So if you're leveling up, definitely check those those out. Give me my last sky shard. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's kill stuff. 
So Roz wants me to go to these two places, huh? Oh, little Roz. This... I think I always die at the C1. See, there's some wood. Some wood. Give me that maple. So you get the rough instance of the material, then you refine it to get a usable source of material to craft. Now, on my account, I have all sorts of crafters and stuff, but just for the sake of this video, assuming I don't have anything. Alchemy mats. You want alchemy mats. You want alchemy mats. Believe me. If you see any flower, any bug loss, any coal mine, pick the crap out of it. Stop everything you're doing and get that. Where are you? Stun, what's up, dude? You haven't seen no dumber DK before. I'm sure you have. Oh, we got a potion. So our first potion we can put in our quick slots. So get that selected, because I probably will noob it up. Boom. Oh, dude, this number is going to be sick. Heavy attack. Mmm. Die, Nubcake. Oh, this guy's going to be awesome at endgame. I can't wait. We got a long road ahead of us to get there, though. A lot of sky shards to get. A lot of dolmens to finish. This pirate ship coming up here is pretty cool. I love the scenery. Ooh, got a new quest. Can any of you hear? You then. So this quest is kind of... I remember struggling when I first found it. Basically, you have to get these torch bugs. And um, then, like, lure these guys out and kill them. So I'll stop looting all that crap. You know, it's hard to pass up. Unless it's alchemy mats, you're going to have to watch me pick it up. Because I will stop for alchemy. I will stop an emperor campaign for getting bug loss. Come here, you. Good. You rest, you noob. Uh-oh. Boom, stun lock. What's up? Can't kill me, brah. I'm a DK. I'm a dumber DK. What's up? Give me that foul hide. We got a fellow noob. What's up, fellow noob? Ooh, a chest. I think I have one lockpick. Oh, this is going to be hard. Oh, no pressure. This is on YouTube. The whole world's watching. Can I get this lock? Ooh. Got it. Starting now, these are actually really good sources of uh, experience. You wouldn't think so, but it's actually pretty good. I lost a lot. I saw and there's a cool achievement with it. Okay, so we got this little bugger. There's another torch bug. Come here, you. Boom. I forgot how fun combat is starting out. Combat in this game is just so much fun. Like, it's just it's just fun fighting. You get a dodge. It's so active in comparison to other games. It's like you're dodge rolling, you're blocking, you're casting, you're pulling, you're ripping and gripping. It's just, God, it's fun. Oh, we got some skeevers. Some nasty skeevers. I used to date a couple of skeevers. Boy, they were not. They didn't give me the skeev, though. Lieutenant Gen we gotta go to a cave, a creepy little cave. Mud crabs. What would Elder Scrolls game be without mud crabs? We got some ore. I don't want to stop and pick every little piece of ore. You guys will stop watching this video and then leave me a comment saying you are a idiot picker, flower picker. I'll say yeah, bro. Maybe I am. Maybe I love them flowers. Oh, this quest was kind of hard too when I started out. Uh, yeah, I'll explain it to you guys. Oh, there's a book. It's not a lore book, but it's still a book. Okay. Here's crazy, man. Now, oh, I thought I had to do something here. Guess not. Let's kill the giant snake, because he looked, he looked at me wrong. Oh, God, he's hard. Ah! Uh. 
stun your face off, die, B. Potency rune, yeah, aspect rune. Or a potency, what did we get? A Jora, ah, oh, it's a noob one. What can I expect to be in a noob area? Got some iron. God, the graphics are so awesome in this game. I'm just still, it's like, wow, it's impressive. I love this game. I'm such a fanboy. I'm such a homer. I'm actually kind of excited to get to level again. I never I never thought I would see that, but it's just something cool about leveling. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Just have a little fun murdering some mud crabs. Life's good. Are you a pirate, bruh? Are you a pirate, bruh? I'm clicking, hopefully that doesn't screw the game up. Ooh, a sky shard. Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. So we need to go all the way back there. I think I've died a few times in this quest. Gotta get the shiny. Remember, three sky shards equal one skill point, so always get these little scudders. Two of three. Alright, so gotta go back here. Go pick this up. Uh, trust me, the quests get a lot cooler. Oh, I see a wormwood. Sorry, guys, I have to pick up wormwood. So, valuable mats to start getting and hoarding are these alchemy ones, these plants. Actually, all of them are pretty good. Potency, not so much at this level, but aspect are really important. So if you see a red little rune like that, get those. Now, if you get a Kuda, a legendary material, feel free to send it to me in-game. Just saying. I take, I will accept Kudas as donations. Come on, horse. Talk to the captain. Is this like Jack Sparrow type captain, or is he like normal? Isaac G. She. I smell a setup here. Where are them bookshelves? I need to level up some skills. Ooh, ah, backpack. It's empty. BS. Bookshelf. It's empty. Come on. Put some books in here. I need to learn. Mama told me to read. There we go. Ooh, a rod high jacket. So, remember that the gear that you equip will also determine... Um, what's this? How? What type of leveling... Oh, God. Shirt off. Yeah, what's up? We'll also determine your, your leveling of your equipment. So if you have light gloves, your light armor is going to go up. If you have heavy gloves, your heavy's going to go up. Now, I want to level light. Ooh, I got a recipe. Now I can cook something. Sea vipers. Oh, this is a cool costume. What's this? A love letter? Meal sucks. Heavy armor increased? Yeah. So your heavy armor increases and allows you to unlock uh, specific attributes or one skill in each uh, thing and then also like some passes that are super helpful. I like light armor because I like to cast a lot of spells, so it works for me. Where'd this guy go? Oh, so now we have to go back here and close this stuff. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, I have to swim. Oh, that tell me that's not creepy. Tell me that's not creepy. It's like a 
damn tornado vortex of hell here. Miss, stun your face off. Boom, you're dead. Freak. Whoa, what's a Lord Stone? What's this? Lord Stone? Oh, is that a quest item? Ah, yeah, I guess so. I was going to say, I'd never seen that before. Oh, that looks cool. Free the other little little nugget. They won't kill me today. No, they will not. Oh, look! It's all sh sunny and shiny. Now, if you haven't completed this yet, your character won't see this, so you'll be kind of like instanced out. Where are you? Boom. Boom. Ooh, cool. Potion. It's the only way to heal right now. There is a mud crab achievement for killing, like, what is it, 100,000 mud crabs or something? <laughs> something insane? Someone's probably trying to get it. Not me. Oh, give me a shit. And I leveled. Sweet. What's the shield? Maximum health reinforce. Done. Level. Okay. So we've got a level. We gotta go with talons. We got to go with talons. One of the best abilities in the game. So we can get rid of spiked armor for now. Cool. It's so fun leveling. It's like you're always progressing. Uh, wow, I got a long ride over there. A long ride. Giddy up, little horsey. Well, hopefully we can find some alchemy mats on the way. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff that increased. See, it's really important to put those skills in your bar, because now each of those can are leveling at the same rate. Each skill line. And I, I've met some people that got to all the way to endgame and didn't even have their skill lines maxed. It's like, what? Because at 50, you get some super awesome... Super awesome, the technical turn. Super awesome passives that really make your character powerful. Ooh, okay, here's what I'm talking about. These aspect runes, these are super important. And you can get them even at level 5. They're good for endgame. Ah, ta. So, getting even collecting mats at this level is still important. Busted Thistle, yeah. I haven't seen Columbine yet. Because when I do, believe me, you'll be the first to know. So in this Canarthi's Roost, there's basically two quests you have to do to kind of advance the story, which we just did the first one, and the second part is over here. And then it kind of opens up the, the story to complete it. Or you can do a bunch of side quest missions. Um, I pretty much just do the story here because I'm already level 5. And a good starting point to do the Oridon quest is about level 5 or 6. Now, if you spend the whole time and do all these quests here, you'll probably be, oh, I don't know, level 7 or 8 if you wanted to. So, if you're just brand new, still do a lot of the quests around here. Though, you can skip it and move on. So, for this video, I'm just going to show you, like, the, the basics of the quest. And then I'll finish it up on my own. So after this, we will be doing 
some more questing. Oh, we'll just pick it up. We'll move on to Oridon, and then I'll start explaining to you guys like what dolmens are, what you know, what's what's a dolmen, what's a delve, what's a public dungeon, what's a you know, all these different things that they don't have on Canarthi's Roost. So it's gonna get a lot more fun. Oh, look at these little sheep. Oh, these little these little guys. Oh, there's a quest up here. And you can always pick up the quest and you know not do them. So might as well just pick them up even if they're in the area. What is this little thing? Look at this. Look, what the hell is that? Jeez, dude. How, how did you pierce that thing's nose? How did someone get it to sit calmly and go, Hey, I'm going to pierce your nose, little doggy. Good luck with that. There's a lot of sheep. Whoa. Yes, what do you want? Aurelia. Sky shard. Ooh, what's this? Is that Lady Smock? Lady Smock, yes. Oh, get over here. Maybe Stun you. Boom. Ugh. Sound effects not included. Lady Smock, super valuable. Thank you. Gained a skill point. Cool. What can we do here? So I hate my little my little chain I don't need. I like the stun. So these are still leveling up. I'm going to go with Searing Strike. That's some good damage. And then we can take the chain away. There we go. Our build's starting to come together. Hmm. You have some... I tire. Okay, so this quest you have to go basically disrupt two things, and then you go in the middle and do this kind of quest series of this crazy man. Boom! See ya. I need some more potions. Ooh, a magic potion. Good. Let's stun him. Boom! Siren Strike's so cool. Such a good ability. Talons, you little meatballs. Oh. And it has really low magic cost, so it's really good starting out. And then the uh, morph of it allows you to get some health back while leveling. I'd really recommend that. Towards the end of the game, you probably want to change it. But that's the nice thing about morphs, you can change them. I'm going to stun this tater. We're gonna nuke his little friend here. Where are you? Boom! Heavy. Knock him down. Less time they're beating on you, the less damage you take. Stun! God, this Dragonite's fun. Scorpion's poison courses through its prey. Now make sure you stand here the whole time, because I've ran away before and like it doesn't actually finish. Okay, complete. Now we can move on to the second one. Oh, don't jump down to these guys. So you notice in combat, if you guys are new to this, you'll notice like uh, the big like, I don't even know how to say it. 
a big like triangle thing that they shoot out that's an AoE cleave and you'll also notice they charge up a heavy attack. That's when you can block it like this. Block, boom. Now they have to swirly over their head, heavy attack, and they get knocked down. So that's how you can prevent a lot of damage starting out because you can't heal really right now unless you use your resto staff, which I will be using later, but for right now I think sword and shield is probably the best setup you can do leveling and regardless of your skill or your class. I mean, Nightblade might want to go dual wield starting out, but Sword and Shield, you can just block and mitigate damage. Stun. Boom. Hit him. Boom. Yeah, bro. You're dead before you get up. Well, almost. This dumber is so awesome. <laughs> this guy is so awesome. I want to play this guy like all night now. <laughs> but I can't because I got to make videos for you guys. Oh, so I got CC'd. No, boom. Ah. Spider weaves the web around the spray. I'll disrupt the ward. All right. So now this crazy man, we can go in there and shut him up. Boom! Charge up attack, no sir. Bah! Yo. Nightstand. Ooh, another recipe. Q. Recipes are used for provisioning. So provisioning basically gives you like buffs for like an hour. So you can get more health, magic, that sort of thing. Or you can get all three stats. That's the purple recipe is a really good one. So when I say loot everything, make sure you loot everything. I wasn't just blowing, blowing smoke. All right, so this one I spent like an hour doing. I forget. You look basically at this back thing, and then it tells you what you should set it up as. So like, it's, there's like I think it's left to right here. You just have to click which one it is. So there's like a no hole thing. I spend so much time. I hate puzzles. I hate puzzles. I mean, I almost quit the game when I first did this. I was like so mad at stupid puzzles. I hate them. Uh, you traditional Elder Scrolls fans probably love them. I always hated them. The barrier is down. But before we proceed, when we in I forgot to put an attribute point in. You guys didn't remind me. There we go, Shepard. He likes attribute points. So now you have to go to these little four bone piles, if you will. She channels them and you kill them. Did. Now she does a little crazy thing, I think. No? Oh, we're done. Okay. Boom, you're dead. So we go to these four things and it opens up the lower part. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. You're welcome. Don't thank me all at once. Right 
Whoa, crazy man. Get out of my body now. Silence, non command of Aldor. No bookcases? That's a ripoff. Oh wait, didn't we learn last time? Can we disarm these? Oh, I thought we could. Tutorial, you lied to me. Oh, jeez. Those are shiny. Now you get a choice here. I'm ready to face him. No, you want to sacrifice yourself? No. All right, I'll see you in there. So you die, and we'll go help this guy. Shut up. Shut up. All we gotta do is click these four things and then it's I think it's done rambling. My master was a fool to doubt your power. I'll help you reap the vengeance you seek, if you allow me. Such a spectacular willing garment. Very well. I can't fight him for long. Quickly. Face the tears of the two moons in the pedestal. Uh oh, red circles are bad. If you're new to MMOs, red circles are bad. Okay, so we got that done. So these, some of these starter quests I don't find too enthralling, but it's a good way to get familiar with it. They're not too challenging. Some of the later quests are really, really cool. But just like any game, you know, you're going to get rats and kill and stuff. A bow, cool. Go back, I think. Yes, portal's good. Yay! Okay, so we got those done. What's the say? Dark knowledge. No. Go to Minstrel. Aha, yeah, so that's the next part of the main quest. So we head up to the north. And we go there. This main story quest in Carnarthy's Roost gives you a, a decent amount of experience, decent amount of gameplay, and you'll be a lot better prepared if you're starting out than just yellowing into the main story in Oridon. Ooh, we got a lot, a lot of these can be morphed now, cool. So for those of you watching for the first time, when it says an ability can be morphed, it means that you get to pick between two options. I don't have a skill point to show you, but once I get a skill point here, I'll show you what it means. And you have the ability to choose one or two morphs. You can always change them back, so don't. it's not a permanent thing. And I recommend... Oh, what's this guy doing? I recommend taking different morphs for different points in the game. So, like, for, for starting out of the game, anything that can basically self-heal you, the better. Anything that does more damage, that's eh, pretty good. You want stuns, self-heals, um, buffs, that type of thing. So anything that's going to increase your armor... Uh, give you some health back. 
you know, stun the enemies or, or root them. That's really important for this type of gameplay because you're fighting NPCs and NPCs can't CC break. They, they're pretty much stunnable all the time. They got a costume? What do I get? No? No? This is the way shrine. Let's go activate that so we don't have to ride our horse all the time. No, I love my little horse. I love my little horsey. Yeah, way shrine unlocked. Okay, so let's go get one more sky shirt so I can get a skill point and show you what that's like. Another one. Oh, do I already have a skill point? No? Hmm. Okay, well, as far as the leveling goes, uh, what I like to do is get an ultimate unlocked right away. So for me, the best ultimate in the game is really Dragonite Standard. So at this point, I don't need Taunt. What I really need is to get this leveled up as fast as possible so I get to 12. So having two abilities in my bar at all times is going to level it up much faster. That way I can get an ultimate as soon as possible. I really, 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 really want that ultimate. So as far as leveling goes, I'll probably stick to something like this. Maybe one or two sword and shield abilities. One ability at least from each skill line. And then my Dragonite ultimate. And that's kind of what I'll do till level 15. Once I get to level 15, I will either go Destruction Staff or Restoration Staff. Now, Restoration Staff probably is a little bit better for me because I'm going to be playing a tank leveling up. That's usually my, my typical play style. And then at end game, I'll probably switch to Destruction Staff and do a lot more damage. But starting out, Restoration Staff is really powerful because you have decent self-heals. So I recommend maybe Sword and Shield or Restoration Staff starting out. Then switching, maybe going to Destruction Staff or a bow or something like that. But for Magicka users, go with this. If you're using a bow or a tool wheel or something, you can still even pair it with the Restoration Staff at level 15. That's when you get your second skill line. So it's really important to set that up. So we got this. Let's go activate this last little bit of the main quest in this area and show you a little bit more tools that will help you. Canarthi's Roost has a bank, so I want to show you that. And you can expand your inventory and bank. You can expand, now your, your bank is a shared through all of your characters. So it's a place you can access all your items for all your characters. You start out with a really limited amount, but you can upgrade it, I think, to 240 slots. Believe me, you will need every single slot you can get. And then your personal inventory, you can level up to 110. And if you're wanting to level up your personal inventory or get that up, it's part of the services, so it should be a bag. Um, I don't think it's in here, but I want to show you it here. So if you're looking to buy it, I think it's in one of these guys. It's a bag vendor. Yeah, a shaba, a shaba, a shaba. Anyways, a shaba will help you get your inventory up. <laughs> Someone will make fun of me for saying that. My temper is short. Let's talk to Crazy Yolo guy here. Exactly. So now we got to do a little investigation. Um, but I'm not going to do that because it's kind of a cool story. Here's your bank section after we get the shrunk. Yeah. So in your bank, you got Please bank, guild bank, bank, guild store. So at starting off, you're probably not going to have a guild bank or guild store if you just started the game. But your bank here, you'll see all the inventory laid out in here, all the stuff that I have in here, tons and tons of stuff. So you're going to start out you know, not that many. And you see, buy more bank space, 65,000 gold. That's a lot. So things you want to store in your bank are basically alchemy mats that you're not going to use right now, uh, provisioning mats, anything that's like in the material section that you don't know what to do with right now, store it in your bank. Um, don't get rid of it or sell it. Now, some of these items like style material, you'll need that later because when we get done with Canarthi's Roost, we're going to start crafting a set of gear that we can use. The good thing about crafting in this game is that you can start crafting even at level one. So if you go to blacksmith and you want to create some iron, you still by default have one point in iron. So you can craft up to level five stuff. So 
it will work out really well once we get enough ore, once we get enough clothing and stuff like that, so we can get a full set of gear without having any special crafting uh, with us. That's going to get us much more prepared. So. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and finish up Canarthi's Roost. Um, all the quests, dinking around, picking up materials, that sort of thing. And then the next part we're going to be in Ordon, and we're going to set out and do some of the story there and show you dolmens, show you sky shards and delves. So thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. A lot more gameplay videos and then a lot more guides on individual things as they come up. So delves, group dungeons, public dungeons, bosses, um, world bosses, everything you can expect in the game, we're going to take you A to Z. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.